My name is Kevin Kwan. I'm the owner of Kevin Kwan Studios. We're based in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Uh, we work in partnership with Diamondback as their high-end road and triathlon uh, designers and engineers. I think if you look in the history of triathlon, even starting in the 80s, uh, they were riding road, road bicycles, with European style road bicycles, skinny tubes, um, double diamond uh, bicycles. But at the same time, trying their own sort of spin on things to, make, to get their positions in the right spots. It's a commitment to making a, a style of bike and a, a type of frame for a particular athlete. Instead of making a one size fits all or making compromises on the design, this is a full out race bike for someone who wants to win the championship. The Andean was a special project for me because I got to break the UCI rules. And I personally hate the UCI rules because they limit me in every aspect. It definitely is much more fun to be creative and it's not as limiting. You know, we've all had a lot of experience with past triathlon frames. And through the journeys of these past frames, you know, we often think, well, what if we didn't have these rules to follow? We could have done this, we could have done this exciting thing. We're so used to a road bicycle that we're not used to seeing an application-specific bicycle for triathlon. I think that will change, and it's definitely, I think it's already changing in the last few years, but we should think about, well, why isn't it big enough to carry all this stuff? Some of our inspiration for the Andean came from MotoGP motorcycles, some of which may or may not be used, but that's part of the process. We are definitely setting a new standard for storage and volume. Designing a frame that is not UCI legal gives us the flexibility to incorporate storage right into the frame, something we can't do in the Serios, and something that triathletes struggle with right now. What they're forced to do right now is tape items like the Victoria Pit Stop and all their nutrition, in some cases right on top of their frame, which isn't very ideal for air performance. I, th I think the, the jewel is our aerodynamic wind tunnel research program, where we get to, we have a collaboration with the local university and we work with their professors and PhD grad students to come up with experiments that are specific to bicycles and we have all the time in the, uh, that, we, that can, we could possibly use and need. And at the same time, we have educated, highly educated experts in their field who are enthusiastic about doing bicycle research. I think it would be really exciting to be recognized for the design of, as being groundbreaking. I mean, we're engineers. We're not the people riding the bicycles. Uh, we love to have athletes win on them, that's fantastic, but we really want to be the va a validation of the designs and the ideas, that's what will really be exciting to us.